This is the Word of God, a powerful, life-changing set of books including history, law, poetry, prophecy, the gospel of Jesus, and more. In about 15 minutes per day, you can read the entire Bible in a year and see and hear what God has done. Let's read. 1 Chronicles chapter 3 Now these were the sons of David, who were born to him in Hebron, the first, Amnon of Ahinoam the Jezreelitis, the second, Daniel of Abigail the Carmelitis, the third, Absalom the son of Maacah, the daughter of Talmai king of Geshur, the fourth, Adonijah the son of Haggith, the fifth, Shephatiah of Abital, the sixth, Ithrium by Eglah his wife. Six were born to him in Hebron, and he reigned there seven years and six months. He reigned thirty-three years in Jerusalem, and these were born to him in Jerusalem, Shimea, Shobab, Nathan, and Solomon, four, by Bathshua, the daughter of Amiel, and Ibhar, Elishama, Eliphalet, Noga, Nephig, Japhia, Elishama, Eliada, and Eliphalet, nine. All these were the sons of David, in addition to the sons of the concubines, and Tamar was their sister. Solomon's son was Rehoboam, Abijah his son, Asa his son, Jehoshaphat his son, Joram his son, Ahaziah his son, Joash his son, Amaziah his son, Azariah his son, Jotham his son, Ahaz his son, Hezekiah his son, Manasseh his son, Ammon his son, and Josiah his son. The sons of Josiah, the firstborn Johanan, the second Jehoiakim, the third Zedekiah, and the fourth Shalom. The sons of Jehoiakim, Jeconiah his son, and Zedekiah his son. The sons of Jeconiah the captive, Shealtiel his son, Malkarim, Pedaiah, Shenazar, Jechamiah, Hoshamah, and Nebadiah. The sons of Pedaiah, Zerubbabel and Shimei. The sons of Zerubbabel, Meshalem and Hananiah, and Shalometh was their sister, and Hashuba, Ohel, Berechiah, Hasadiah, and Yushab Hesed, five. The sons of Hananiah, Palatiah, and Jeshaiah. The sons of Raphaiah, the sons of Arnon, the sons of Obadiah, the sons of Shechaniah. The son of Shechaniah, Shemaiah. The sons of Shemaiah, Hattish, Igal, Bariah, Neria, and Shaphat, six. The sons of Neria, Elioni, Hizkiah, and Azrakam. Three. The sons of Elioni, Hadaviah, Eliashib, Peliah, Akab, Johanan, Deliah, and Anani. Seven. Chapter four. The sons of Judah, Perez, Hezron, Carmi, Hur, and Shobal. Rhea, the son of Shobal, became the father of Jahath. And Jahath became the father of Ahumai and Lahad. These are the families of the Zorathites. These were the sons of the father of Edom, Jezreel, Ishma, and Idbash. The name of their sister was Hazalelponi. Penuel was the father of Gedor and Ezer, the father of Husha. These are the sons of Hur, the firstborn of Ephrathah, the father of Bethlehem. Asher, the father of Tekoa, had two wives, Hela and Nera. Nera bore him Ahuzam, Hefer, Temani, and Hea Hashtari. These were the sons of Nera. The sons of Hela were Zareth, Izhar, and Ethnan. Hakaz became the father of Anab, Zobaba, and the families of Aharel, the son of Haram. Jabez was more honorable than his brothers. His mother named him Jabez, saying, Because I bore him in sorrow. Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my border. May your hand be with me, and may you keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. God granted him that which he requested. Chelub, the brother of Shuha, became the father of Meher, who was the father of Eshton. Eshton became the father of beth Repha, Passia, and Tahina, the father of Ir-Nahash. These are the men of Recha, the sons of Kenaz, Othniel and Seraiah, the sons of Othniel, Hathath, Meonathai became the father of Ophrah, and Seraiah became the father of Joab, the father of gi Harisham, for they were craftsmen. The sons of Caleb, the son of Jephunneh, Iru, Elah, and Naam, the son of Elah, Kenaz. The sons of Jehalalel, 
Ziph, Zipha, Tyria, and Asarel. The sons of Ezra, Jether, Mered, Epher, and Jalon. And Mered's wife bore Miriam, Shemei, and Ishba the father of Eshtemoa. His wife the Jewess bore Jared the father of Gedor, Heber the father of Soko, and Jekuthiel the father of Zenoah. These are the sons of Bithia the daughter of Pharaoh, whom Mered took. The sons of the wife of Hodiah, the sister of Nahum, were the fathers of Kela the Garmite, and Eshtemoa the Maacathite. The sons of Shimon, Amnon, Rinna, Ben-Hanan, and Tilan. The sons of Ishi, Zoheth, and Ben-Zoheth. The sons of Shelah, the son of Judah, Ur, the father of Lekah, Leada, the father of Marisha, and the families of the house of those who worked fine linen, of the house of Ashbia, and Jochem, and the men of Kaziba, and Joash, and Seraph, who had dominion in Moab, and Jashubilahim. These records are ancient. These were the potters and the inhabitants of Netaim and Gedera. They lived there with the king for his work. The sons of Simeon, Nemuel, Jamin, Jerob, Zerah, Shal, Shalom his son, Mibsam his son, and Mishma his son. The sons of Mishma, Hamuel his son, Zachar his son, Shimei his son. Shimei had sixteen sons and six daughters, but his brothers didn't have many children, and all their family didn't multiply like the children of Judah. They lived at Beersheba, Moloda, Hazar Shul, at Bilha, at Ezem, at Toled, at Bethuel, at Horma, at Ziklag, at Beth Markaboth, Hazar Susum, at Beth Biri, and at Shearim. These were their cities until David's reign. Their villages were Edom, Ain, Rimon, Token, and Ashen, five cities, and all their villages that were around the same cities as far as Baal. These were their settlements and they kept their genealogy. Meshobab, Jamlech, Joshua the son of Amaziah, Joel, Jehu the son of Joshabiah, the son of Sarayiah, the son of Asiel, Elionai, Jeokabah, Jeshohiah, Azaiah, Adiel, Jezemiel, Benaiah, and Ziza the son of Shiphi, the son of Alan, the son of Jedaiah, the son of Shimri, the son of Shemaiah. These mentioned by name were princes in their families, their fathers' houses increased greatly. They went to the entrance of Gedor on the east side of the valley to seek pasture for their flocks. They found rich, good pasture, and the land was wide and quiet and peaceful, for those who lived there before were descended from Ham. These written by name came in the days of Hezekiah king of Judah and struck their tents and the Munim who were found there, and they destroyed them utterly to this day and lived in their place, because there was pasture there for their flocks. Some of them, even the sons of Simeon, five hundred men, went to Mount Seir, having for their captains Pelatiah, Neria, Rephaiah, and Aziel, the sons of Ishi. They struck the remnant of the Amalekites who escaped, and have lived there to this day. Chapter 5 The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, for he was the firstborn, but because he defiled his father's couch, his birthright was given to the sons of Joseph, the son of Israel, and the genealogy is not to be listed according to the birthright, for Judah prevailed above his brothers, and from him came the prince, but the birthright was Joseph's. The sons of Reuben, the firstborn of Israel, Hanak, Palu, Hezron, and Carmi. The sons of Joel, Shemaiah his son, Gog his son, Shemai his son, Micah his son, Reiah his son, Baal his son, and Bera his son, whom Tilgath Pilnazer, king of Assyria, carried away captive. He was prince of the Reubenites. His brothers by their families, when the genealogy of their generations was listed, the chief, Jael and Zechariah, and Bela the son of Azaz, the son of Shema, the son of Joel, who lived in Aror, even to Nebo and Baalmeon. And he lived eastward even to the entrance of the wilderness from the river Euphrates, because their livestock were multiplied in the land of Gilead. In the days of Saul, they made war with the Hagrites, who fell by their hand, and they lived in their tents throughout all the land east of Gilead. The sons of Gad lived beside them in the land of Bashan to Salakah, Joel the chief, Shapham the second, Jenei and Shaphat in Bashan. Their brothers of their father's houses, Michael, Meshulam, Sheba, Jorai, Jachin, Zia, and Eber. 7. These were the sons of Abihail, 
the son of Hurry, the son of Jarawa, the son of Gilead, the son of Michael, the son of Jeshishai, the son of Jado, the son of Buzz. Ahi, the son of Abdiel, the son of Guni, chief of their father's houses. They lived in Gilead and Bashan and in its towns, and in all the pasture lands of Sharon as far as their borders. All these were listed by genealogies in the days of Jotham, king of Judah, and in the days of Jeroboam, king of Israel. The sons of Reuben, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword, able to shoot with bow, and skillful in war, were forty-four thousand seven hundred sixty that were able to go out to war. They made war with the Hagrites, with Jeter, and Naphish, and Nodab. They were helped against them, and the Hagrites were delivered into their hand, and all who were with them. For they cried to God in the battle, and he answered them because they put their trust in him. They took away their livestock, of their camels fifty thousand, and of sheep two hundred fifty thousand, and of donkeys two thousand, and of men one hundred thousand. For many fell slain, because the war was of God. They lived in their place until the captivity. The children of the half-tribe of Manasseh lived in the land. They increased from Bashan to Baal Hermon, Sinar, and Mount Hermon. These were the heads of their father's houses, Ephor, Ishi, Eliel, Azriel, Jeremiah, Hodaviah, and Jadiel, mighty men of valor, famous men, heads of their father's houses. They trespassed against the God of their fathers and played the prostitute after the gods of the people of the land whom God destroyed before them. So the God of Israel stirred up the spirit of Pol, king of Assyria, and the spirit of Tilgath-Pilnazer, king of Assyria. And he carried away the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of Manasseh, and brought them to Hala, Habor, Hera, and to the river of Gozan to this day.